boy George once blasted Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, declaring shame on the US chat show host for not being more rigorous with her questioning of the couple. Boy George, 60, appears on Sunday Brunch on Channel 4 this morning to talk about his gig at Kenwood House next month. The Culture Club frontman, known for hits like Karma Chameleon, will team up with his bandmates for the special concert on Hampstead Heath in London. Also performing are fellow 80s hitmakers, Bananarama, Lulu, and legendary guest DJ, Fat Tony. On Sunday brunch this morning, regular hosts Simon Rimmer and Tim Lovejoy also welcome Sarah Cox to the studio to chat about her new novel. Keel Smith Bino also discusses his new sketch show, Red Flag, while Leah Brotherhead talks about new comedy hull raisers and there is music from Bell and Sebastian. As well as his music, George has become known for his outspoken views on politics and other subjects in recent years. One such occasion came in March last year as he let rip at the interview Meghan Markle and Prince Harry did with Oprah Winfrey for CBS and ITV. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex sat down with the US chat show host to open up about their decision to step back from their royal roles, but George claimed that Oprah could have pushed them further in their answers. One of Meghan's claims to Oprah was that a member of the royal family had spoken with Harry about what color the skin of their son Archie would be when he was born. Meghan, who is mixed race, claimed there were concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. George reacted to Oprah's tweet publicizing the interview before it was released in full, writing to his 482,000 followers that she should have questioned Meghan's allegation further. He said, sadly, Meghan wasn't prepared to tell us who made these alleged comments about Archie's skin color. I believe she has a responsibility to tell us. Shame on Oprah for not pushing it more. It's a huge accusation. However, in the replies, fellow Twitter users jumped to Meghan's defense, reminding George that it was Harry to whom the remarks about Archie's skin color were made and not Meghan. One wrote, Why do you think she has that responsibility? Another added, Why would that be her responsibility when Harry said it was said to him? Maybe she was respecting Harry's right to relay who said it? George also said Oprah could have asked more questions about Meghan's family. He wrote, Not a single question about Meghan's family? Is there a part two or is there only financial mileage in dissing our royal family? George also claimed he did not have anything against Meghan or the royal family. I'm not anti royal or anti Meghan. The comparisons to Princess Diana are pretty lame. She walked in blind. Meghan was a Hollywood actress. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry warned that it is not in their interest to continue having bad relations with the royal family, especially considering their financial situation. This claim has been made by royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams, in an interview. He was quoted saying, from the Sussex's point of view, if they're going to be philanthropists, it's not in her interest or his to have bad family relations. Apart from Princess Eugenie and Doria, Meghan's mother, they are certainly estranged from everybody as far as I can see. They're certainly not close to them. As far as the royal family is concerned, they want to stop damage. It's everyone's interest to solve the rift but will it be solved? What about the state of the Sussex's finances, what about Netflix's disastrous situation with shares plummeting? And the fact that they're going to scrap Meghan's series, and the fact that 